Okay, in the previous video we had Bill and Ted. I've, I've gotten rid of all the drawings I had on here. Basically, this is Bill's location, Ted's location. Bill is at negative one, Ted's at two, and they have to move together. You saw the entire saga unfold as the videos went by. Let me draw their one-dimensional space that they exist in nice and thick to show that this is all they understand geometrically or physically, but you and I can understand many more dimensions than just one. Okay. Well, I also explained how we can use the second basis vector to move them up and down or translate them. That's a much better term for it. Than, in fact, that's the correct term for, for it. But the transformation we're doing on Bill and Ted here is, is basically a translation. We're moving them together. Now, I want you to notice this number I'm translating by. It's, it's a happy, nice convenience we're going to see here. But again, Bill, negative one, Ted, two. And in order for Bill to go to a negative 4, oh, that's thick, let's go thin. In order for Bill to be able to go to a negative 4 and Ted to go to negative 1, we had to do the translation using the second basis vector. Now, it is still true that I cannot simply add negative 3 to Bill's location and negative 3 to Ted's location. That is illegal because negative 3 is a scalar, it's simply a value. It does not have a direction associated with it. If I told you to move three miles, you would probably ask me, do you want me to go three miles north or south or maybe forward or backwards? It's all, it's all relative, okay? So I have to give you an, a direction according to um, the coordinate system we're using. But notice that using the second basis vector, if I leave this at a 1, meaning it's y component, a 1, or it's second dimensional component, a 1, and, and both Bill and Ted are sitting at that 1 plane, then I can set this to a negative 3, which feels like we're adding negative 3 to their location. Notice we moved them both 3 from their original spots. We moved them negative 3 from their original spots, and it feels like we're adding negative 3 to their location, but we're not. We're not. It is, we are combining their second component with this second basis vector. However, if it helps you to think of it that we're adding um, negative 3 or whatever this value is to their current location, have at it. Think of it that way. However, to be perfectly mathematically correct, we're not. We're doing linear combinations here. All right, and that's what we call a translation. Now, if you look up the definition for an affine transformation, you will see that an affine transformation is a linear transformation followed by a translation. All right, well, what is a linear transformation? Well, that is basically Bill and Ted linearly moving up and down their coordinate space using that scalar trick I showed you before where we had to take four times Bill's vector location and negative one-half times Ted's vector location. And then we, d we could do the add where we say, well, add negative three, or sorry, negative three. And here we say add negative three as well. And so this is kind of a linear transformation followed by a translation, but again, the translation needs a directional vector, does it not? So again, we need the basis vector v here. So I really don't like that definition. An affine transformation is a linear transformation followed by a translation. I think it's a bunch of bull, because according to the world of mathematics, it's all linear. Did we not just take uh, two vectors here and translate them with a linear transformation and even though it's two dimensions and yet Bill and Ted only understand one we still got a linear combination which gave us a linear result so I think that word affine is a bunch of bull I think it's a way of saying oh it's that dimension that we really can't conceptualize when we go 3d to 40 you'll understand a little bit better and then I also need to explain a little bit more about this homogeneous coordinates and how multiple coordinates map to one coordinate in the space that we're interested in. In this case, we're interested in only the one-dimensional space. Blah, 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 blah. Next video, please.